The Bowflex PR1000 comes with 200 pounds of power rod resistance, and it's not supposed to be upgradable, but I've got this brand new set of power rods here, and we're going to install them today. And before we go any further, I got to warn you, this will void your warranty, but if you bought this machine secondhand like I did, well, that wouldn't transfer over anyways. And we're really not breaking our machine or anything here. We're just removing one piece that's in the way. So if you have a PR1000, you can see exactly where those power rods are intended to go, but it's covered up by this little piece of metal, and we're going to have to remove it to install this extra set of power rods. This little piece of metal literally does nothing except prevent you from installing these rods. It doesn't hold the box in place or provide some sort of safety feature. It is literally here just so you'll purchase the more expensive Bowflex Blaze. And you could even remove this piece of metal at the end of the box and go further up to 400 pounds of power rods. Now I qualify that as power rod resistance because 100 pounds of power rods is not 100 pounds of true resistance. And we're gonna put it to a scale later on in the video. And before I go any further, if you have a Blaze or Exceed or any other Bowflex that says it's upgradable, well, I have links in the description to videos for them and how to upgrade it. Basically, Bowflex makes it really easy for those, but this one here, the PR1000, it's going to be a little bit harder. And the first thing we need to do here is remove the piece of metal covering up this box. And to get to that, we need to remove our rod box first from the casing. There's a couple of screws to remove this bracket, and then there's three screws underneath. And then once we take all those out, this just slides right off. And now for the fun part, we need to cut this piece of metal off. And for that, I've got this old fashioned hacksaw here. And you might have better equipment than me, like an electrical circular saw or something, but I'm old school and I'm not a handy person. And, and you know, I wish I had more tips for you here. And if you do have tips you want to share with other people, post in the comments below and I'll try to pin the, the best ones. Now, it took me a good seven or eight minutes of sawing away until I got to this point. And then it just broke off. And once that's done, the hard part is over. And all we need to do is install our rods into the rod box. So the first thing we need to do is remove these rods from the box attachment and then install them into the PR1000. And that's really simple. There's one screw per rod at the bottom of the box. The only tricky part here is the screw head will require a Torx hex screw bit. Specifically, you need a T15 bit. And unfortunately for me, my adjustable screwdriver here it came with it. And in case you're wondering, the 310 pound upgrade kit requires the same bit and it did not come with the rods. So I've got my rods all screwed into the box and now all I need to do is reattach it to the tower by screwing it into the base. And then I just need to reattach this bracket. I've got all these other bands and stuff here and that's part of my row machine upgrade and I'll have a link to that in the description if you're interested in using this machine as a row machine. So we've got this all set up. Now let's put it to a scale and see how it measures up. I've got two new rods racked up here. And the first thing you'll notice as I pull is the resistance gradually increases the further you go. If you haven't used the Bowflex before, this is just kind of how they work. They're kind of like an elastic band. You get peak resistance when the rods are fully bent. And what we're seeing here is just 50 pounds for 100 pounds of power rods. So that's kind of a bummer. This added resistance might be all you need to push yourself a little bit more when it comes to your upper body. But if you're talking legs, this resistance can be really disappointing even for untrained users. If you're looking to add a lot of resistance to this machine, definitely check out my elastic band upgrade video. Using some quality bands that cost maybe $20 or $30, you can add a ton of resistance to this machine. And also, if you're looking for some follow along routines, check out the rest of the channel. I've got over 50 routines that are completely free and they're well designed and fast paced to help you get the most out of your Bowflex. So be sure to check that out and don't forget to hit that like button and use the links in the description if you're buying any of these products. Thank you for watching.